Hi, I'm Jaga. People are afraid of artificial intelligence. They worry their jobs are going to be taken away from them and we're all going to be replaced by our new robot overlords. Today, we'll be finding out if that fear is misguided or if it has some merit to it. This is ChatGPT. You give it a prompt and it spits in an answer. Oh, and before you doze off on me, I did prompt the AI for some criminal RP later in the video. I just wanted to see what it would have come up with if you asked it for some non-criminal RP ideas. And it looks like it wants us to do a street performance RP. So I guess we'll be dancing. Now, you may not find dancing exciting, but for the staff of the server, dancing is very serious business. So serious, in fact, that once they caught wind of this RP, they surrounded me and threatened to ban me from the server if I didn't get a dance crew together in one hour. So let's find ourselves a crew. I got your ass. Me and Jamal are on it. See you around, Jamal, boss. Gotcha. <laughs> This is one of the things. It's a warning. Brody, you good? It's a warning. Oh, if I don't get people that? to dance with me, something terrible's gonna happen to me. This is just a f sign. It's a bad oh, omen. God, oh God, it's happening to you too. Hey. Can you dance? Can you dance? Tell me, can you dance? Oh, can you dance? No. You take your stupid f***ing looking car, you your brown, you look like a f***ing cigarette, uh, box. Loser. I'm going to Sandy. Can you dance? Yeah, I can dance. What's up? <laughs> Yo, so, uh, I'm kind of in the bit of a pickle right now. Alright, what's going on? I desperately need a, a gaggle. I need a group of people that can like dance with me. I'm a street performer and my boys just dipped out with me and I was told that if I didn't dance with somebody and if I didn't get a, a group together, I will die. Should probably go find someone. That's yeah, what I'm trying maybe. to do though. Go, go, to the, go to the vanilla unicorn. You'll the vanilla yeah, unicorn? Yeah, yeah no problem. Hey, yeah. can you dance? Can any of you dance? Can you dance? Can you dance? The f do you think you are honking at me, motherfucker? Can you dance? Can you dance? Can any of you people dance? Can you dance? Can I dance? Oh my god. Are you are, are you in the mi Dude! This jobber. What? Nah, I was gonna say sit YouTube video, bro. Wait, don't matter. <laughs> you be Jaga? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's me. What's up? What happened? Uh, uh an accident. Why is the car upside down? Just an accident. Can you dance? Hey! Can you dance? Um, no. Can you dance? Can you dance? Maybe. Maybe? Well, I wasn't able to get a dance crew together in time, and thus I was permanently banned from the server, never to be seen again. Or that's at least what my script says, it's all make-believe. Honestly, what the AI came up with was pretty cool. I mean, a street performing RP? If I actually had a crew and a little bit more time, I bet that could have been really fun. But I'm a man of my word. I said I had some criminal RP here, so here's the prompt and here's what it wrote. Feel free to pause to read it. But I'll give you a summary. The AI stated that I will be part of a group of criminals hired by a mysterious figure to perform a huge heist. So obviously, the first step is to find that group. Thankfully, in a server as large as this one, it was only a matter of time until I found a few people. Drive me, drive me, drive Are you interested in making a lot of money? Yeah. But of course, some people would need some convincing. This individual wanted to know where we were going because in case you didn't pause to read the last prompt, the AI actually didn't specify where we were going. So I prompted the AI for a location. This unsurprisingly gave a general answer. It spoke of a high security facility containing a large sum of money and valuable artwork. We knew there was only one place that fit this description, Keo Perico. But we needed someone that could fly a plane. So we set our sights on finding the perfect man for the job. Someone that wouldn't ask any questions and had a moral compass set firmly in the pursuit of money. Hey, buddy. Can you fly a plane? Yeah. All right. Get on the plane. We're going to KO.
really, really bad pilot. Oh my god, the sky is so bad! Pilot, please! That's the fucking ground! Oh my god. Look at the land! Man! Take a walk. Would you like to immediately celebrate? Yeah. Just want to thank you guys all so much for helping out with this. Job well done. Fantastic. Whoa, dude. Who's that guy? Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with what the AI was able to come up with. Granted, most of its answers were quite general, which gave us some flexibility on where we would go or what we'd be doing. So this begs the question, will AI make you a super creative and interesting role player? No. But was this fun? Absolutely. We even gave it an additional prompt after leaving the island to figure out what to do with the money we just stole. That's why we celebrated the way that we did. But unfortunately, the people I was playing with had grown tired in our travels and had to head off. So fast forward a few days and I wanted to do one last scene with the AI. But the thing is, each RP required multiple people. So I enlisted the help of my good friend and great role player, It's Cookies. You may know him if you've played on ESX servers in the past. We decided to prompt the AI for a criminal RP with our headquarters located in the foundry. All right, while I walk around, I'll go ahead and read this out loud. To summarize, the AI wants us to steal high-end vehicles and then sell them on the black market. Now, up until this point, we've been following the AI's instructions pretty closely. But this time around, the AI suggested we use lockpicks and wire cutters, which this server doesn't have. And it said we should use explosives to steal the vehicles. But a server like this, it's public. No way in hell they're letting us use explosives. So, in for a penny, in for a pound, we strayed further from the AI's instructions. It wanted us to sell the stolen sports cars to a black market dealer. We're not doing that. So our plan was to melt down parts of the cars and then sell them to unsuspecting buyers. In hindsight, it was a little silly to do this, but hey, we were just having fun. But now the question on our minds was where we would be finding the vehicles. Thankfully, being avid role players, we knew just where to find a bunch of supercars with irresponsible owners. Sandy Shores. Hey, um, I found a blue car if you want to yoink it. Grab it, grab it, grab it! Go, 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 go! But after stealing the sports car, we almost immediately ran into some trouble. I, well, we gotta repair for like, oh, there's a cop. They're not gonna suspect a thing. Well, mine's not registered. They should have a problem with me. And aside from the police presence, the car we just stole was not gonna make it to the foundry without repairs. Okay, I'm gonna repair it just so he's not conspicuous. Oh, God! Did you smack into him? No! Don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> My car's a little f***ed up, though. Aside from those two minor hiccups, we more or less got away scot-free. But of course we wanted a second car, so while Cookies was driving back to the foundry, I went ahead and scattered for more vehicles. I'm gonna see if I can get another sports car on the side of the road. Okay. But being the overachiever that he is, Cookies managed to find a second vehicle for me on his way back, so I swung by and I grabbed it. So which one am I grabbing? Either one. Yoink! Alright, I got it. Now you may have noticed that this car looks identical to the one that Cookie stole. We thought this too. Same model, same blue, and white race stripes. We checked and they are completely different vehicles though. Doesn't matter either way since we'll be melting them down next. Yeah, I think it's not stock by the way. And after we melted down the cars and loaded the ingots into our box truck, we prompted the AI for who to sell it to. Now it reiterated itself and told us to sell to a black market dealer. Instead, we decided to just drive down the road with the box truck and sell it to the first person that was willing to buy what we had. What's good, bro? What's up, man? Hello. 
or sorry about that. Can I help you? you? You interested in buying some metal? I'm like, I'm trying to be as respectful as possible. And I'm going to try and keep it like that. I'm not trying to be rude to y'all right now, but we in the middle of the f hood, bro. We don't, this is a 24 seven. I don't know. But we all know what these materials can be used to make and create. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I get it now. I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, take a All take right. a gander. All right, yo, see you. You know what type of we can make with this? Yo, stop munching on your <laughs> chips, dog. <laughs> so what the hell are y'all doing? Uh, I'm we're buying buying copper. Here. Yeah, we're we're. That's the server runner. I like your I like your beard. <laughs> That's the server oh, runner. That's the. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's the server runner. <laughs> And riding high after our first successful sale, we knew we needed to do it again. What about that black car to our left? There's a person in it. There's a person in it? There's a person in it. Oh my god. <laughs> Why don't we try stealing these two cars right here? I'll try it. Yeah, white one, white one. All right, the balls. All right, we're going. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> we just sold to right there. <laughs> oh my god! Where's the windshield? I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it? No. Okay. Here it is. There it is. That's definitely. All right. It works. It'll work. It'll do. So we got a car and a bike, and we decided that it was only fitting to try launching the bike into the pond. It took a few attempts. <laughs> this is going to kill me, by the way. Damn it! <laughs> I died! <laughs> For five minutes! One more time, one more time. One more time. We never did get that bike in the pot. But part of me wishes to believe that if you cut the video at the perfect moment, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference anyway. But now that we have the metal, we just needed to find customers. So we got in our fastest cars and drove around, looking for anyone that seemed interested. Oh my oh god. Good oh good lord! <laughs> Eventually we did end up selling the metal and put a close to the AI's RP. Despite the technology being in its infancy stages, I think it showed a lot of potential. I'd like to know what you guys thought of it though. Did the RPs it came up with impress you, or did it fall short of your expectations? Either way. Thanks for watching. Hey.